All right, now that we've seen how to manage all of our files and we've gotten a sense of how we can sort and make these things group together so that we can easily access any file that we want to at any given time, let's take a look now at once we get them into these kind of groupings, how we can move them around, how we can actually move them to different folders, copy them to different locations, and then how we can delete the photographs that we really don't need. So we'll go ahead now and I'm just going to select one of these photographs here. I'll select flower orange 3jpg And what we're going to do is we're going to move this to a new folder that we're going to create inside of our project files folder. So the first thing we need to do is go into our image here by right clicking on the image or control clicking on the image if you're on the Macintosh platform. And we're going to come down to move to and we're going to select choose folder down at the bottom here. I'm going to select my project files folder and I'm going to select the chapter 2 folder and I'm going to double click on that just to make sure that I have access to that folder and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select make new folder so I've created this new folder inside of the chapter 2 project files folder here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this folder here I'm just going to name this new images go and hit enter or return to come into those changes and then I can go ahead now and I can select OK and when I do that, you'll see there that I moved that file and it actually went into this new images folder. So if I double click this folder here inside a bridge, I've automatically moved that file into that folder so it's just sitting there by itself. If I wanted to move that back to the same folder where it was before, I could go ahead and do that simply by using the same process we just did. However, I want to have a copy of it moved into the same folder that we just came from. So in order to do that, I'm just going to right click or on the Mac side, I would control click on that. And this time I'm going to select copy to and this time I can come down here I'll select choose folder I'm gonna to navigate to my project files folder I'll select chapter 2 and then I'm just gonna click OK once I do that if I go up here and I select the back button to get back into that main folder you see here I've got that flower orange dash 3 dot JPEG and I've moved a copy of that now into the original folder so there's two ways that you can move objects around you can move them or you can copy them to another folder which leaves the original file in there See, I did not move that actual file that we moved into that new folder. All I did was copy that file and then put the copy of that file into the original folder we started with. So you can either move files, which takes the original file and actually physically removes it from one folder and moves it into another, or you can copy a file where it actually takes the copy of the file and moves it and leaves the original in place. So there's multiple ways that you can move files to different places in the Adobe Bridge, and it's really handy when you want to organize your images here inside of Bridge. Let's also take a look now at how you can manually sort these images in Bridge. Now we've automatically got them set to sort by file name. However, if you wanted to move these up and down here inside of the content window, you could simply just click on these and you can drag them down. And when you see that nice yellow bar underneath one of your photographs, go ahead and drop it in and you can manually change the stacking order of that file simply by dragging and dropping it around. So that's another way you can actually change the default organizing system here inside of Bridge. Or you could even take it one step further, come over here to the sort panel over here on the left hand side and you could choose sort by document type. You can sort by date of the file modified. Any number of one of these sorting methods over here on the left hand side, you can choose any one of those you want. Now by default it's set to file name or you can set it to manually which allows you to drag and drop those images around. So that's just another way they're letting you customize the way that you organize your photographs here inside a bridge. Now the last thing we're going to talk about is how to delete files, the files that you really don't want or don't think you need anymore. And that's really easy to do. Let's go ahead now and we'll select this folder of images, this new images folder here. And I'm going to delete this file that I moved in here earlier. In order to do that, all I have to do is come up here and I can just simply click this trash can icon which says delete item. When I do that, Bridge is going to come up with this dialog box that says, are you sure you want to send flowerorange3.jpg to the recycle bin? I can go ahead and say don't show that again because I really don't want a warning coming up every single time I delete a file. And I'll go ahead and say OK. Now once I do that, that is totally gone. It's not there anymore. It's in my recycle bin or on the Macintosh side it would be in the trash. And then you would actually have to go into your recycle bin or trash can and empty that out to completely delete that from your system. But other than that, that's how you remove files directly from your database here inside of Bridge. Or you could simply come in here and you could right click on the PC or control click on the Mac and come down here and just simply select delete and that would automatically delete the object without even having to worry about that dialog box whatsoever and it would just automatically delete that and throw that file into the trash 
Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undo that action. I'm going to do that simply by hitting Control Z on the PC, Command Z on the Mac, just so I can make sure that I have all those original files still in this folder. And let's go ahead and get rid of that new folder we created simply by Control clicking or right clicking on the PC, and we'll go down here and select Delete. It's going to come up and warn me that I'm going to throw away this new images folder. And it does that simply because it's a folder rather than an image. So I'm going to go ahead and say don't show that again. And I'll select OK. And it's just going to remove that. And now we're right back to our original database of files here inside of Bridge. And you should be able to now move your files around, delete, copy, and move them to wherever you need to to help you better organize yourself as you're working throughout this program.